Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss proportional logic and some of the logical operators. These operators are negation, disjunction, and conjunction. Proportional logic is the base of all other discrete mathematical structures. That's why it is important to study proportional logic before studying all these discrete mathematical structures. So let us start. So before defining proportional logic, uh, we will go through one example. Here I will show some sentences and we have to check whether the sentences are true or false. Now look at this <coughs> first sentence, the sum of 5 and 2 is 7. And you know that the sum of 5 and 2 is 7, it means this sentence is true. Now look at another sentence, the sum of 4 and 3 is 8. You know, the sum of 4 and 3 is 7, but here it is given as 8, it means this sentence is false. Now look at the sentence, the sum of x and 3 is 5. Now here in place of a number x is given. So until unless we define x, we can't say whether the sentence is true or false. It means in present situation, we cannot say whether the sentence is true or false. So means we can write it, cannot say. Now look at another sentence, go to the classroom. So this is an order again. We cannot say whether the sentence is true or false. The next sentence is the sun will rise tomorrow. Look at this sentence. This sentence is a situational sentence. It may be possible if you are a certain place and it may be possible that tomorrow you are likely to see sunrise. But suppose if you take a journey by air to another country where time zone is different, it may be possible that tomorrow uh, you see sunset there. So this is a situational sentence. You cannot say exactly whether it is true or false. So we can put this in the same category, cannot say. So now look at this, these two sentences are uh, exactly true or false, but these sentences, you cannot say whether these sentences are true or false. So now we are in a position to define a preposition. So a preposition is a sentence which is either true or false, but not both. So these sentences are, so it means these first two are propositions where, where these three, this one, this one and this one, these three are not propositions. Now we use letters like P, Q, R, etc. to denote a proposition. For example, P is the sum of 2 plus 3 equal to 5 or you can write in mathematical way 2 plus 3 equal to 5. Q, Delhi is the capital of India, are the sum of two odd integers is an odd integers. You can use small letters like P, Q, R also to denote propositions. Now logical operators. Logical operators are used to join two or more propositions to form new propositions. So there are number of operators. We will start one by one. So first one is negation. Negation is a unary operator. It means this uh, operator is used for only one proposition. So suppose P is a proposition, the negation of P, this is denoted by negation of P and you will read it as not P. It means this will negate the proposition. For example, suppose P is I go to market, the negation of P will be I do not go to market. Now, in generalized way, how can we define the truth values of P? Because every proposition has two truth values, true and false. So, what will be the values of negation P? So, we can write it in truth table. Now, look at this. That these are the two truth values of P. This is true and false. So, whenever P is true, then negation P will be false. And whenever P is false, negation P is true. So this is the truth table for negation. Now another logical operator is disjunction. 
or you can say or the symbol for this is this one the distinction of two proportions p and q is denoted by p or q now example look at this suppose p is i go to market and q i play football then p or q this proportion will be i go to market or i play football now what about the truth values of p or q look at this as i told you every proportion has two two truth values true or false but here we have two propositions p and q so in all we will have four combinations of truth values for these two propositions or variables now for each of these uh, combination we have to find the truth values of p or q now look at this is p or q in this p or q this is very important thing which you have to remember that this is either p or q or both either p or q or both this or both part is included in it though we generally we do not use this or both but this part is included in it so p or q will be true if one of the condition is true yes i will give you one example in many real life situation you see these types of sentences for example suppose uh, to appear uh, to appear for an interview in a certain company the requirement is a student uh, should either be tech in computer science or be tech in mechanical engineering it means if the student is a, a b tech from computer science then he can appear or if the student is b tech from mechanical then he can appear for the interview it means if one of the condition is satisfied then p or q will be true so now we can write the truth table for disjunction it means these are the four combinations first one is true true second one is true false third one is false true and last one is false false so whenever one of the two propositions is true p or q will be true now look at this this is the case this is the case and this is the case in all these three cases p or q is true now in last case when both of the propositions are false so this is false so this p or q basically three cases are there either p or q or both or both this first one is or both so this is the truth table of disjunction the next logical operator is conjunction this is and the disjunction of two propositions p and q is denoted by p and q now Look at this example. If suppose P is I go to market and Q I play football, then P and Q this is denoted by I go to market and I play football. So now to find the truth values of P and Q, again we have many real life problems. As I told you, suppose for example to appear for an interview, suppose the condition is the student must be B Tech in computer science and must have more than seventy five percent in B Tech. so here look at this and condition is there btech in computer science and 75 more than 75% in btech it means if one condition is not satisfied then you cannot appear for interview so both of the condition must be true for p and q to be true so now we can write the truth table for conjunction look at this when both of the conditions are true for in first case p and q is true otherwise if one of the proposition is false in this case in this case and this case in these three cases when one of the propositions is false then p and q is false so in this way we can write the truth values of conjunction now we will discuss some example based on disjunction and conjunction suppose p is the proposition 2 plus 3 equal to 5 q delhi is the capital of india and r 5 is an even number now you know that this is true this is again true and the 5 is an even number this is false so these are the truth values of these propositions now we have to find the truth value of the following propositions now look at this p and q look at this p is true q is true so true and true and true this is true for p and q both of the variables are here true it means p and q is also true now p or q again p 
P or Q means if one of the variables is true, then P or Q will be true. So here both of the variables are true. So this is true. Now P or R, this is P or R. So P is true, R is false. But or or is there. If one of the two variables is true, then this will be true. So P is true. So this is true. So P and negation R. P and negation R. Look at this. P is true. R is false. If R is false, then negation R. Look at this. P is true. This is and negation R. R is false and negation R is true. So it means both are true. It means this is true. Negation Q and negation R. Q is true. So negation Q will be false and negation R. Negation R is false. So negation R will be true. False and true. One is false. Another one is true. So this is equivalent to or this is false and true because and is there. So this one of the proportion is false. So this is false. Now look at this P or Q and negation R. So first we'll find this one. So this is P or Q. P is true or negation Q. Q is true. Negation Q means this is false. And negation R, R is false, so negation R is true. This is true. So true or false? Look at this. This is or, and one of the two propositions is true. So this is true. This is true and true. So this is true. So this sign is equivalent sign. We will discuss it later on. So this is true. So in this way, we can find truth values of the propositions here I have discussed only th three logical operators negation, disjection, and conjunction. So these are examples based on these logical operators. And in this way, you can find the truth values of different propositions. So I hope that you got the concept of proposition and three logical operators. In next lecture, we will discuss some another logical operators.